Despite a below average league table finish for a Borussia Mönchengladbach, one player that has caught the eye on numerous occasions this season is 22-year-old Manu Kone, who is attracting interest from a number of sides, including Liverpool, so let's break his game down. Over the course of the season, the young Frenchman has operated on the left-hand side of a double pivot within a 4-2-3-1 formation. However, as his heat map suggests, his role as a DM is not rigidly defensive and he can be seen to frequently move into more progressive positions, aided by the cover of his partner Julian Weigel, who retains a fixed deeper position and covers as the space left when Kone moves forward, which I'll touch on later. Nevertheless, it is worth considering his defensive traits first and foremost. Kone is particularly strong when it comes to breaking up opposition attacks. When sitting as part of the double pivot, he's a great screener of the defence and has a good ability to tackle in a range of scenarios, whether tracking back towards the goal where he battles to win the ball back or facing up attackers where he can retreat to form a mid-block or, as he often does, quickly and aggressively press to dispossess opponents or block attempted passes. As a result, he finished the Bundesliga season with the ninth most total tackles and eighth most most duels won a clear sign of the strengths he possesses in this area of his game. His off-the-ball work is beneficial towards this, with good stamina to cover the pitch and a real hunger to win the ball back when the team lose possession. And I think it's important to note his physicality too. When operating as a defensive midfielder, he has those domineering qualities that teams look for. Standing at six foot one, he's powerful and quick and can quickly take control of a midfield. Now this is all well and good, but in those defensive phases, it's also important to have that footballing intelligence and awareness. And I think he's fairly competent when it comes to this, particularly in 1v1 scenarios where he has a strong ability to read the opponent. However, he is sometimes too aggressive to win the ball back. I'd like to see his decision making improve in this area, particularly if he no longer has a covering pivot partner and has to take greater responsibility in the defensive area. Alongside this, what makes Kone particularly exciting are his technical traits. His on-the-ball ability is exceptional and he has great close ball control, making him extremely difficult to tackle, able to escape from traps and even 2v1 situations around the pitch. This skill set is most effective in two scenarios. First, at turnover situations where he's able to move away quickly with the ball, often even in counter-pressing scenarios where he uses his evasive qualities to get away from the man. And secondly, when he receives the ball from the defensive line and supports the build-up in midfield. In both, he always looks to dribble forward with the ball and past opponents, sitting within the 96th percentile for successful take-ons across Europe's top leagues. Now, he's not tasked hugely with creative responsibility, and it's important to note that this is mainly in the first or second phase progression in the build-up rather than deep up the pitch, as reflected by his one goal and one assist in 30 starts this season. So what else? Well, from a passing perspective, he is fairly solid. He's not particularly progressive with his passing, but has a good ability to play short, medium, and the occasional long pass in transition when he drops deeper in the build-up or recycling and retaining possession. But I think this is an area he certainly could improve and could aid his versatility to play further forward by adding those progressive passes to his game. This nicely ties into how he could fit in at Liverpool. As with many other Liverpool midfield targets at the moment, his aggressive ball-winning ability is the major point to note of and matches a Klopp system perfectly. His technical skill set will also be an attractive proposition, particularly in those turnover phases when he can drive the team forward. However, from a positional sense, this is where the challenge lies. If Klopp is to continue to operate with Trent Alexander-Arnold as an inverted fullback who moves further forward in the middle of the pitch, a more defensive player is Alternatively, needed. Klopp may take this approach, which could see Kone play further forward.